Inside the Fox 59 studio, welcome to Football Friday Night. I'm Dave Griffiths, and after tonight, we will be down to the final week of the regular season in high school football. Man, you blink and it is over. But that's a story for the future. Here's what's on tap for tonight. Three teams can strongly justify a claim to the top spot in Class 6A. Could they all get a win this evening? There's homecoming for Cathedral as the Irish host for Buff. Highlights there. Top ranked and 1A Lutheran looks to stay unbeaten. And we'll announce the winner to last week's Shelbourne Media Center play of the game. Those stories plus how quickly the tables can turn. It looked grim for three and a half quarters, but the Colts strutting off the field winners this week. You will hear from the Horseshoes in 15 minutes. Now, Hamlin Southeastern has not been number one all year in 6A, but the Rollers are perfect. 7-0 and can set up a massive showdown with top-ranked Brownsburg next week if they could get a win tonight. Would the Royals take care of business on the road visiting these guys? The flashes of Franklin Central. Royals start with the football. Ty Bradle slinging it to the perimeter. The receiver dropped right away. Good tackle. Andrew Lawrence for Franklin Central sends it back to the ground. So HSC sends out the punting unit. There it goes away. But the returner muffs it. Probably should have let it drop. Mason Alexander falls on it. And HSC's offense comes back on the field. Back to it. Play action. Donovan Hamilton, deep for six. Good job going up and getting it in the end zone. Royals out to an early lead. Ground game working for them as well. Direct snap, Cole early wine on the doorstep, takes it in. 38-14, HSE winner. So they do their part. How about senior night at top-ranked Brownsburg as the Bulldogs hosted Noblesville. The Millers would be first on the board. Gabe Bellin keeping those legs churning through the line and muscling in. It would be tied 7-7 after the first quarter. To the second we go. Brownsburg's offense comes alive. Garrett Sherrill out of the backfield. Little Juka to get free. And then the stiff arm to finish it off into the end zone makes it 14-7. Next Bulldogs drive. Whitaker to Caden Ollinger. Six-yard score. 28-14. Brownsburg leading at halftime. Now to the second half. Whitaker sticking to the air and going long. Corey Smith behind the defense. Catch and run. Touchdown, 45-28, setting up a massive showdown next week. Now to Center Grove, the Trojans, 6-1, visiting Lawrence North. LN with the ball and going long. Mario Lomax, the receiver there, makes a great adjustment to come down with it, keeps the feet in bounds, and Wildcats are moving. On that drive, Montez Jones, whoop, leaves the defender in the dust and then showing off the wheels to get in the end zone for six. Beautiful run from Jones for the touchdown. But Center Grove still on top, and they would stay there. Jalen Thompson breaking free down the sideline. He's got some speed, too. 38 to 14, Center Grove wins. Cathedral certainly in the conversation of top teams in Class 6A, as they should be. Their only loss is to Brownsburg, in fact. It was homecoming for Cathedral this evening. Irish welcoming for Buff. You can welcome in a rival in any way to Arlington High School. Cathedral knocking on the door. Carson Johnson taking it in from 10 yards out. Fighting Irish on top seven to nothing. Later, Johnson again. This time from eight yards out. Just that simple. Yeah, a little shrug. 14 zip Cathedral. Now for Buff. Trying to get things going, but they put it on the ground. The Braves third turnover of the quarter as the Irish recover. But this time... Cathedral's offense would uh, give it right back. A little muffed handoff for Buff able to fall on it, but nowhere near enough to keep up. Cathedral wins 42 to 21. Senior night at Bishop Chatard. Coach Rob Doyle's Trojans hosting Terra Haute North. Luke Puricha breaking free. Big gainer, but the ball comes out. Recovers his own fumble. That is being on the spot. That was that kind of the night for the Trojans. Same guy, this time into the end zone. A few plays later, Bishop Chittard, a 35 to nothing lead. The Patriots desperate for anything to happen. They're looking long, trying to catch up. How about this Colin Guy interception? Hanging on to it as he gets hit and falling down. 49 nothing, Bishop Chittard wins. Heritage Christian, top 10 squad in Class 2A, hosting South Putnam. Top 10 in 1A. Early going, the home Eagles are soaring. Kyle Antoine to Luke Valerio makes it 6 to nothing off that nice pitch and catch. South Putt, though, getting on a roll. Second quarter, they're up 14 to 6 now. How about another touchdown? Peyton Crickmore, third straight TD for Putt, and they win 49 to 20. Covenant Christian, Park Tudor, a couple of strong 1A teams battling this evening. Covenant 
Coming off a takeaway, Tony Flat rolling out. How about the throwback to John Neighbors? No one over there, and that's an easy walk-in touchdown. 6-0 Covenant Christian later in the first. Again off a takeaway, the first play. One play drives, make it easy. Nolan Jones in the end zone. Covenant wins 35-6. to six. Scores from around central Indiana. New Palestine tops in 4A. They're still there. 63-12 over Newcastle. And Ron Colley, a fight to the bitter end, but Cincinnati Elder gets the win 24-23. We go to Weibo. A 33-7 convincing victory over Danville. Watch out for those stars. And then in overtime, Mooresville gets by Martinsville 37-31.